I'm Dan Henderson. I fight for pride. Vanderlei Silva, I plan on knocking you out. A lot of people don't know the term mixed martial arts and you pretty much just tell me, you know, it, it's exactly what it is. It's a mixture of all the martial arts put into one sport. Kickboxing, wrestling, and jiu-jitsu on the ground. Beautiful. You know, there's obviously different organizations that have a little bit different rules, but primarily you can kick or knee a guy in the head at any time. Depending on the organization, you can elbow to the face. The way to finish a fight is the same as in boxing. You can knock a guy out or the ref can stop it from a TKO. The difference is if we're in trouble and not defending ourselves, the ref isn't going to stop in and give us eight seconds to recover. If the ref steps in, the, the, the fight's over. I was born in Southern California and I think in third grade I moved up to Apple Valley, California. It was kind of similar to how it is here in Temecula. A lot of outdoor stuff. I had horses growing up. It was fun growing up like that. I couldn't live in a big city. I'd go visit one occasionally, but even that's a little bit tough for me to go do. I'm gonna go smooth some dirt off, cover up some horse poop. He's a great dad, he's a great husband. He's a very caring person, soft-spoken. You wouldn't, um, when I first met him and I saw one of his fights on tape, I was shocked. I was like, wow, that's not you. He does a lot of stuff around the house. He is extremely handy. He's into woodworking. He can build stuff. He, you know, pretty much did a lot of the building on this house. Still got a lot to do. I don't think it'll ever be finished. I got a big piece of wood as my mantle up there instead of something kind of nice above my fireplace. You got all your stuff, guys? My kids are there quite often for practice. Slide down. <laughs> now don't slide. Don't, don't slide. You'll burn your hands. The kids know what I do and they think it's kind of neat. You know, now that they're getting a little bit older, they, they're understanding a little bit more, you know, that their dad fights and they haven't asked to go watch an event yet live, really, but they, they watch them all on TV. I'm fighting Vanderlei Silva for his belt, which is the middleweight world championship belt, he's well respected as one of the toughest guys out there. I have the welterweight belt in pride and the weight class above me would be middleweight. He has been their only champion at that weight class for the last four or five years. Fortunately, we have some good, tough, big guys in the room, so he knows what that weight feels like. He knows what it feels to push that around, to have that type of weight on top of him, and his body is adjusted conditioning-wise to dealing with that. That's it, you do a side, make sure that underdog. I'm typically the small guy, and I'm okay with that. You know, and skill-wise, you know, we're pretty comparable on our feet. We both hit real hard. We both uh, like to stand up and bang, and, and, you know, on the ground, we're both not submission guys. Come on, up and out, Dan. You gotta get out. I think where the fight is gonna be decided is, is the fact that my wrestling background, you know, I can control the fight. If, if I want to take him down, I'm going to take him down. I'm ready to go and step in the ring tomorrow, but, you know, this last two weeks is mostly refining the game plan and, and kind of trying to ex execute it. I like the thought Dan going up point. He responds better when you put a huge obstacle in front of him. Everybody at this stage is just tough to fight, they're, they're, they're tough opponents and I just think mentally maybe I get up a little bit more for the, the bigger challenge or the bigger guys or, or a bigger challenge. And I don't know, maybe they're a little bit slower, who knows. I fought him six years ago, he beat me by decision. You know, I wasn't quite as, as prepared and I wasn't the fighter I am now, so I'm gonna take advantage of this opportunity. I've been waiting six years to get a chance, you know, to, to do this and uh, I won't waste it by not, not being prepared. Mm -hmm.